From sending its first rocket into orbit to creating a fully reusable spacecraft for expeditions to Mars, SpaceX has revolutionized and pushed the boundaries of space exploration. In its 20-year history of operation, SpaceX has broken multiple records, establishing itself as one of the leading private space firms globally. But what made SpaceX smash numerous records and become one of the world's top private space companies with a valuation of over $100 billion? Join us as we celebrate SpaceX's most memorable moments. In 2001, after a Russian rocket designer spat on his shoes, Elon Musk was inspired to start building his own rockets. Musk was in Russia to discuss a deal to purchase rockets for a future journey to Mars. Former NASA Deputy Administrator Lori Garver commented on the Russian rocket designer spitting on Elon's shoes as, This act so completely outraged Elon that he resolved on the journey home that he would launch his own rocket company to compete with them. This was one of the first moments in SpaceX's history and marked the beginning of Musk's journey journey to revolutionize the space industry. Elon Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 with the intention of lowering the cost of space traveling and enabling the colonization of Mars. Musk saw the high cost of space travel as a barrier to the exploration and colonization of the solar system, and he founded SpaceX with the vision of making space travel more affordable and accessible. Musk provided a six-year timeline for building a self-sustaining settlement on Mars in order to prevent an eventual extinction disaster, he wanted to make interplanetary colonization possible. The alternative, he continued, is to evolve into a spacefaring civilization and multi-planetary species. He said, what I really want to try to accomplish here is to give Mars the appearance that it is something we can do within our lives. The Falcon 1 rocket's successful 2008 launch and landing. This moment made it the first privately funded liquid-fueled rocket to enter orbit. By 2006, Musk had put a third of his income into the space project after he had made millions when PayPal was sold to eBay. This significant accomplishment proved that a private corporation had sufficient funding to successfully design, construct, and launch a rocket capable of reaching orbit. And it represented a significant turning point for SpaceX and the private space industry. Musk gave the Falcon rocket its name as a tribute to the Star Wars Millennium Falcon. The two-stage disposable Falcon 1 launch vehicle had a development cost of roughly $100 million. A year later, the company launched its second spacecraft, which it called the Dragon, and named it after the Peter, Paul, and Mary song, Puff the Magic Dragon. Musk claimed that he chose the name because many people thought his plans for the company were impractical. Three failed launch attempts by SpaceX between 2006 and 2008. A fuel leak and subsequent fire caused SpaceX's first launch attempt to fail in 2006. Later inspection of the launch vehicle revealed that corrosion caused by a nearby ocean wash had affected a fuel line bolt. The following two launches successfully completed the first stage of flight, but after the spacecraft separated, problems developed that prevented it from entering orbit. The unsuccessful attempts caused SpaceX to come dangerously close to bankruptcy. According to Musk, these launches nearly brought the company to an end. At the same time, Musk was apparently experiencing financial difficulties at Tesla and was under a lot of pressure which caused him to wake from nightmares, yell, and be in physical pain. SpaceX had the final opportunity for success on its fourth launch mission. It was the last chance the company had because money was starting to run out. The U.S. Space Force had authorized a mission from SpaceX on a Falcon Heavy rocket. The company's large payload launch vehicle, which first flew in 2018, had now completed four launches. Both of the side boosters successfully landed on the ground during the mission. Since the center core was configured to consume the maximum amount of fuel to get the payload to its intended orbit, it was not recovered. Two stages are used for each launch of a rocket by SpaceX. The booster is the initial stage. It gives a strong thrust up to a specific altitude before descending. The spacecraft is propelled into orbit by the second stage as it continues to run. The first three launches were a disaster. The first three launches were unsuccessful, Musk stated in an interview nine years later. For Falcon 1, that was our last remaining funding. That last rollout was successful, or it would have been. SpaceX's career would have ended there, but that day, luck was on our side. In 2012, the Dragon spacecraft from SpaceX arrived at the International Space Station. It resulted in earning more contracts between NASA and SpaceX. 
It was the first commercial spaceship to carry supplies to the International Space Station. Dragon 1 served in 23 cargo missions to the ISS before retiring in 2020. In 2014, SpaceX started working on Dragon 2, which would be capable of transporting both astronauts and cargo. SpaceX experienced its second major setback of the year in 2015 when the Falcon 9 burst mid-air. Shortly after takeoff, the Falcon 9 rocket that was transporting supplies to the International Space Station broke apart. It was discovered that the issue was caused by a steel strut that contained a helium pressure valve and ruptured off the spacecraft because of the force of liftoff. In 2016, the Falcon 9 had a second failure when the rocket burst during the static fire test prior to launch. In 2016, SpaceX successfully recovered a rocket's first stage for the first time. Another Falcon 9 rocket's first stage was successfully recovered by SpaceX in 2016 using an autonomous spaceport drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. According to Musk, SpaceX could cut its costs by around 30% by recovering and reusing the first stage of rockets. Within the year, Musk's space company started providing a 10% discount for payload transportation utilizing the recycled first stage. In 2017, SpaceX launched the first Falcon 9 that was reused. In 2018, Musk used SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket to send a Tesla Roadster into orbit. The Crimson sports car was being driven by Starman, a mannequin dressed in space gear. The electric car was sent into space as a test load. At the time, Musk stated his desire for the dummy payload to be the most absurd thing we can come up with. The Tesla car is actually still in orbit, making it the fastest sports car in history. Even a web page is available to track the spacecraft's journey. On December 20th, the Roadster had traveled more than 200 million miles from Earth and was departing the planet at a speed of 6,473 miles per hour. When SpaceX resumed US-based human spaceflight in 2020 for the first time in many years, Years, the company achieved a significant milestone. On May 30th, 2020, SpaceX launched the new Crew Dragon spacecraft with astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken aboard using a Falcon 9 rocket. The two men were the first ones to launch aboard a SpaceX rocket. Moreover, it marked the first time since the first space shuttle flight in 1981 that the U.S. sent a man into orbit aboard a brand new spacecraft. In May 2021, Starship, a spacecraft that SpaceX is developing to one day build settlements on Mars successfully conducted a suborbital test flight without exploding. Musk's ultimate goal is to establish human settlements on Mars through the creation of self-sustaining colonies. In order to transport the necessary personnel and resources to the Red Planet, SpaceX requires a highly capable and fully reusable rocket system. This is where the Starship Super Heavy comes in. The Starship is the main spacecraft in Musk's plans for the solar system and beyond. It has been chosen by NASA to host the first lunar landing since 1972. Furthermore, Musk has outlined a concept of constructing 1,000 Starships in the future to make frequent shuttle flights to and from Mars. Starship will be put into orbit for the first time when SpaceX uses its massive Super Heavy launcher to launch it. When exactly that historic orbital test flight will take place, is unknown. Also in 2021, SpaceX launched Inspiration4, its first space mission made entirely of civilians. Billionaire Jared Isaacman flew three days in space on September 15, 2021, on a private spacecraft he and three other passengers had rented. The Crew Dragon Resilience was sent into orbit on a Falcon 9. Over $243 million was raised for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital as a result of the trip, which was part of a humanitarian campaign. The spacecraft was the the first crewed voyage without any trained astronauts to reach orbit. In addition to rocket flights, SpaceX has established a vast satellite network. SpaceX has sent more than 3,000 of its satellites into Earth's lower orbit, with the goal of creating a network of 42,000 satellites for its Starlink satellite internet service. Since the launch of Starlink in 2019, the company has gained over 1 million users. The satellite internet service was made available on several airlines and cruise lines earlier this year, and it has played a crucial role in Ukraine's conflict with Russia. SpaceX also has created a subsidiary, The Boring Company, which aims to construct underground transportation systems in various cities in the United States. SpaceX's journey has been one of constant innovation and determination marked by numerous milestones. These achievements not only pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible, but also served as a source of inspiration for a new generation of space enthusiasts. With SpaceX's continued dedication to progress, we can anticipate many more exciting moments in the future.